Welcome back to Top 4 Repairs. In today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys how do you know you have a bad ignition coil pack. And I'm also going to teach you guys how to test for a bad ignition coil pack. If your check engine light is on and it's flashing and you're experiencing an engine misfire and you're starting to experience rough idle, poor gas mileage, poor engine performance, stalling, and so on, you might want to check for a bad ignition coil pack. Before testing the ignition coil pack, visually inspect the ignition coil pack. Make sure the spark plug wire that attached to it is not damaged or loose. Make sure there are no cracks on the outside of the case of the ignition coil pack. Make sure the wire on this part here is not loose. And visually check for burn marks because if there are burn marks, then most likely you're going to have cracks on the ignition coil pack. It is very common for these ignition coil pack to develop cracks. When there are cracks on the ignition coil pack, the coil pack will start to spark. You see arc coming out of it and your spark plug wire and your spark plug will not receive any power. Now let's check and see if you have a bad ignition coil pack caused by cracks. First, you need a spray bottle and fill up with water and with the engine running, spray on the ignition coil pack. If there are cracks, you see a reaction. You see sparks start to come out of it and your engine will start to react. The next test is to check for spark and we're going to check for the strength of the spark. Take your test light, connect it to battery negative or you could connect it to ground. That could be any metal surface in the engine bay. Next, pull out the spark plug wire one at a time. What you want to do is, you want to check for spark. Take your test light, hold it about half an inch away, and check for spark. If you're not getting spark, most likely you have a bad ignition coil pack. Just because you're getting spark, it does not mean that your ignition coil pack is good. You want to make sure that the spark is consistent. It must always keep sparking. Also, you want to check for the intensity of the spark. For example, if you hold your test light about half an inch away, and if the spark looks um, kind of like orange or looks faint orange, then most likely you have a very weak ignition coil pack. Now, if the spark is extremely blue, then you have a very good coil pack. Now, let's check for a bad ignition coil pack using a multimeter. Take your multimeter and set to ohms. And before you begin, make sure to check manufacturer specification because every single ignition coil pack is going to have different readings. Now let's test the uh, first ignition coil pack. Right there. So we got a reading. Next, let's check it right there. And we got another reading. So far, this ignition coil pack is good. Let's check this one. That one's also good. Let's check this ignition coil pack. This one's also good. So as you can see, the reading is quite consistent. So that's how you check for a bad ignition coil pack. I hope you found the lesson useful. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Repairs.